Friends, this is a soft cataract in a very high myope. Let's see this edited video. After the initial steps, this is capsulorexis with a uh, uterator forceps. And the rexis was good, about 5.5 millimeter rexis. And there was no problem in this step. I made the all these steps on the posterior aspect of the limbus on the a little on the scleral side so that sealing of these wounds become easy. Now hydrodissection and nuclear rotation was as usual. Now the tricky part in this case is the nucleus management and see the as soon as the phaco needle goes in with irrigation the people dilates the lens iris diaphragm go backward very deep anterior chamber I tried if I can do mechanical job but then I found that probably stop and chop will be better so I started making a trench and at the central part I made the trench deeper and at this stage I thought this is okay but this is only very small crack the nucleus didn't divide into two heminuclei now I make the trench on one heminucleus and try to divide it but I cannot I'm having difficulty in judging the depth because the anterior chamber is already very deep I made the central part more deep and tried to crack the nucleus but it didn't so this is the situation I cannot I could not divide the nucleus into two heminuclei after several attempts nothing happened and now I did hydro dissection of this nuclear piece. And a few bits and pieces came off. Then I did a hydro dissection. and injected visco through this and here it is the nucleus got pushed to the right side and inferiorly now I took this instrument this is my posterior capsule protector I went behind it and emulsify this portion of the lens mass and then the other portion and now I started cleaning the cortex I used bimanual irrigation aspiration for the upper part. For the lower part, I used Simco. In this case, the I will power is minus two adapter. The axial length is thirty-one millimeter of mercury. 
and the K readings are 42 and 43. Enlarge the main wound a little bit so that the cartridge goes inside and incest high myopes I always implant a multi-piece intraocular lens from Jensen and Jensen. This is a overall diameter of this lens is about 13 millimeter and this lens fits well in these large bags. So here the lens goes in the capsular bag. Now see as soon as I go with irrigation the people dilates like this. This is because of retropulsion of lens iris and diaphragm like this. As soon as you go with irrigation the pupil dilates. The iris and the capsular bag both get in a position and both move posteriorly. Sometimes we can use this LITRS in our advantage. If the people tends to be small, we can use this phenomena and keep the people dilated and manage the nucleus, particularly if the nucleus is hard. And this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. irrigated the capsular bag, removed all the visco from the anterior chamber from the capsular bag, formed the anterior chamber very nicely and concluded the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.